Hello, and welcome to Voices for Fun with Mona. Oh, for God's sake, they know who you are. What, what, what? Of course they know who you are. Today, you don't mind if I take over. Oh, well, do I have a choice? No, you don't. Today, I am going to help Mona, who's <laughs> not going to make a word, talk to you about placement. Do you remember about placement? Remember, you could do nasal like this. This is not the easiest thing to do as Kyle's mom, but yet I am doing it. Do you hear that nasal sound? And then we have oral, which is right in the jaw. Can you see that? And so suddenly it becomes this kind of voice. I could be snooty. Oh, I am Kyle's mom and I am so glad to see you. You see, yet retaining my own voice as well. But if I didn't, it would sound something like nasal up in here, just like so, or oral, just like this. Now, let's talk about another kind of placement, shall we? Let's talk about, let's talk about guttural, okay? This is like this, when you just push against those fabulous vocal folds ever so easily, just like this. Oh, I could be a monster. What, what, what? Ah! See that? It was not so hard. You could do this if you practice and remember what we saw, talked about before, breath control right here. Now, what about if you want to do something kind of spooky? What, what, what? Like this. That's aspirate. That's where you just gently push that air that's supported by the diaphragm right over those beautiful vocal folds and you have this kind of sound. Ooh. And then, last but not least, if you put it all together and you focus it on the lowest note you can make, sort of like this, you then are using your orotin voice, the voice that would allow me to be a speech maker or for you to talk better. What can I say? Sounds like this normally. Hi, how are you? You hear where the tone is nice and low. Yes, I hear ya. Okay, it's my turn now, get away. So, have you got that right? Quick review, okay? Nasal, aural, guttural, aspirate, and oratin. Go have some fun. What, what, what? Happy holidays. What?